the poc so any one of you still actually go into that way or you people already completed the poc uh subroto i have completed the poc okay. uh, hi subroto i'm proverb sir uh, i'm a bit struggling with the installation part uh, you but, are still, uh, still in the installation part yes actually there are some my node version was uh, below uh, uh, 10 so uh, i was facing some difficulty in the installation so i have connected with our mac team guys from team project so uh, at last able to install it mm. uh, but uh, instead of uh, normally running ng serve and other ng generate command so i used to use uh, npx no, then ng serve yeah yeah the thing is so you can only to... use those commands if you your you need to open the settings windows settings okay. and you have to set your angular cli path variables okay because okay. right now they are not able to recognize your those commands basically once this path variable will set then you can run ng commands otherwise you have to run with npm commands okay, okay. So I was initial set time I was not able to configure how locally, but no, at last time. I mean, so far whatever we have discussed, you attend all those training sessions. Uh, actually, due to some uh, client meeting, I missed two, but uh, I have covered up in the weekend. Okay, so you have all the recordings, right? Yes, yes, in YouTube, we have all the recordings. Okay, no issue. So in today, let me share my screen. So are you able to see my screen? Yes. Okay. So today I will do certain things in mixed way. I mean, I'm not going to uh, copy everything from here. Okay. So I have already this setup over here. So I will first tell you how to do this setup. And I think you can also understand this is a new Angular project. So I have set it up. Then I enter into that particular folder. Then I run ng sub command. So far, up to this, I think you have already saw those things, right? In many of your Angular activities. Now, we do not have any database right now. The problem is we do not have any database. When you talk about front end, front end people do not have any database. But people who are working with uh, maybe java python php dot net they have their own database okay so since i do not have my database in my system so i create a mock server for me okay so this is this server is uh, a json server and it is running on a node so i use this command to create that server so i am here okay into this particular directory then i Create a run this command npm install save json server and then I run run a normal command make directory server so it will create a server folder over here. Okay. Now I moved into server folder and I create one file that is called database.json file. Inside my server folder, I have this database.json file. JSON file is holding a simple array of objects. Initially, it was blank. Now I need to do what thing? I need to push certain fake data. So to fake data, push a fake data to any JSON server, we use Faker. Okay, so Faker is a package that actually helps us to push fake data into our JSON server. So this is the command npm install fake save. That command will install the Faker over there. Then we create another file called generate.js file. This generate.js file is here. Okay. 
So this is we, it requires a Fecal package, and then what happens that we initialize this with this database variable, and we run through our Fecal commands to get certain data from Fec server. Okay, and we will push that data into our database.json file. So this data is coming from this particular scripts. Now the thing is how we are able to run this thing. Now get back to our document. So, so far it is there. We have around 300 records over there. Okay. <clears throat> now the thing is if you want to run ng commands, then you have to go back to your package.json file and you need to put your custom commands over here. So I have added two scripts over here. One is generate, another is the server. So when you generate, this is the command, right? ng build, ng start, ng test, ng lint, ng etv. Same thing when you put this key. So it will run this file that is inside this generate.js file. Okay. And it will watch this JSON server. So from this particular thing, npm run generate and npm run server when you run this npm run generate it will call that faker and push your mock data into your database dot addition file okay and this npm run server will run enable your server up so i have i need to run this thing so you can see that this is my command npm run server when i'm doing this thing so my server is getting up now after that i am need to run this ng sub command so right now what is happening that my entire application is populating data from this database file okay so this is my mock data and this particular server if you see that this server runs on the port localhost 3000 Okay, so this localhost 3000, if I copy this URL and paste it in the browser, I'll be able to see the same data. Okay, so this is my API endpoint. From For backend people, this is my API endpoint. And from this API endpoint, I will be able to fetch this data. So far, whatever I have discussed, anyone has any question? Or any problem to understand? Yeah, hi, Sprita, Gopi here. Yeah. So that endpoint is basically uh, using gate method, right? Endpoint is a your, your server endpoint, right? So say, for example, you have a MySQL database or maybe in your .NET, whatever database you are using, Oracle or SQL server, it runs on a subspecific port, right? So whenever you want to fetch certain data from front, uh, any scripting language, whether it's a .NET, PHP, Java, Python, you need to access data from that port, right? You have a connection string, and that connection string basically connect with your database, and then you will be able to run your select, insert, update, delete queries, right? So, so that is, local is there any default route created for this? No, it is not related with the route. Okay, this is an endpoint to point your database. Okay, okay, which is generated by the Flickr. You create your own database file, okay, mm -hmm. with with JSON server. With the faker, you dump mock data into that JSON server. Okay. <clears throat> so now this is our main thing. So app module. Now we have our Angular component. So we have created some home and about us components over there. Okay. And uh, then this is the thing. This is the Angular material. So. So material is like bootstrap we have 
the same set of CSS library over here. So Angular Material basically provides us a bunch of components. Okay, the bottom component, there is a form field, then there is a grid list. Okay, then we have menu, we have pagination. So we are in our real life application, we are if we can use this thing, we can save a lot of time. Okay, so this is a grid. So you people must use those grids. Okay, not in Angular. These are the tabs. Okay, so you will get all sorts of things like you will get HTML, you will get TS. So this entire library, I put it inside my. I have create one. uh folder first okay so this is a shared folder inside that i have created one module so this is a material module so you can see that if i enter into shared we have this material module so whatever we learned so far a module can be exported right so there's just like an app module so in your lazy loading you can create a uh, separate separate module Right, so those module will be exported and can be uh, used in different different parts. So I put all my material library into this particular module, and I want to use this thing. So what happened that uh, I can access this material module all over my application. So, so you can copy paste it. <clears throat> so in, in the app module you have this material module and this material module is in the import part also so that is done once we have done this thing now we have material module in my application so in that particular structure in have we have our uh, this mat toolbar okay whatever we are actually showing over here this class is coming from a material UI library. So it not only gives you the CSS, it also gives you the components. Whatever components you will be using. There is a table, there is a, everything is there. Autocomplete checkbox. Okay. So that the time I have taken this thing, probably they have added few more things. So whenever you have current uh, modules, you will be able from this site, you will get the current modules and you can put it into your application. Now, uh, this is the simple structure. So I have my home component. Into my home component, let's go back to HTML pages. So I can see that there is a list of products. Okay. So this list of products, so in the on in it, we have one function over there. Then this function is using this data service. So where is this data service? So this is the data service. This data service is actually getting data from here. Okay, so this is my server endpoint. In your case, if you are using any MySQL, PostgreSQL, SQL Server, Oracle, whatever database will be, you need to mention this part over here. Okay, so this particular service you have already talked about, right? So this is an this is a mechanism of calling a service. Let's start with some simple thing. So this is my uh, send request service, okay? So I have used this HTTP client.get method and I put my REST API over here. So it will receive data from my mock database. Now what I need to do in my home component, I need to subscribe that, okay? So this is a simple subscription. So I will come later that because I have updated a lot of things over here. So what happened that you need to subscribe over here. So once you subscribe, you will get the data. Okay. So this raise.body will give you the list of products. And in your HTML pages, we have list of products over here. And we are showing the data. Okay. There are a couple of things also you can see that there is a first page, previous page, last pages. But these information are there. 
let me run this application so you can understand so this is my application okay it is a home page and there is a about us page okay, if i go back to home page i can see this particular date set of data so all this set of data is coming from my database okay the image is everything and information so if i go down we can have a pagination there is a next page if i click over there so this is the next page how you can identify the page changes just see this number 91810 because probably the images will be different so this number is changing image may be same for every product but uh, this id is getting changed okay so this is a previous first next example you click on last so this is the last if you click on the first you will get back to the first page now there will be a lot of examples because whenever you go through this documentation you will get part by part okay and everywhere you will get explanation so probably whatever you have seen in this particular this is the most updated code okay so let me go through this example or documentation one by one so, so is there any question that i have this function in the service method i am subscribing this method to get the list of data and then i am plotting that data into my html pages anyone has any question this is a simple thing this is a simple thing this dot data service dot send request subscribe we need to subscribe that then we have a data and then we put those information in the products we will receive the products and we will plot it in the view page if there is no question right yeah no question no question right this is a simple thing because whatever you have seen in my vs code that is a updated way thing okay so i will grow go gradually over there now the next thing is how we can do the error handling in angular okay so for error handling what we need to do we we'll let go back to your data service page so it, angular provides a uh, error handling mechanism over there so we created this error handling function and this function you can paste in every service page because this how many methods you have right every methods can be uh, i mean they can handle this particular error handling thing okay so you have this method and you can attach this method with the every service call whatever you are doing the so first page last page whatever you do you are doing get post insert so that is the thing <clears throat> so there is a concept of retry so what is this retry sometimes what happens due to any network lag or something when any api gets called sometimes it first time it is not receiving any data so it is always better to have uh, a retry mechanism in my api call so this retry basically uh, give a try another time so how many times you want to try you can mention that okay so yeah you can see that this retry 3 this retry 3 basically uh this is a part by part okay so this retry 3 will try three times before declaring that server is dead or maybe it will throw and back end error or something like that take until what is this take until these are very important methods uh, we need to use and most of the even front end developers they just forget those things so take until basically uh, it emits the value okay and it emits the value once it is received because we know that there is a finite and infinite subscription in angular right so take until basically emits the value until and unless this notification receives where we have used this so this take until part you can see that this is a retry this is a catch error error handler you can see that there is a tap i have used and there will be 
a take until the take until is here so this take until basically <coughs> consuming an observable so what is this observable this is a type of subject so subject is type of observable that has a blank value the same thing can be declared with a variable subject which will have some initial value and the purpose of this declaration is that we will this take until we absorb certain observable and works with an observable now whenever we subscribe anything any observable it is our duty to fill that observable otherwise this observable will be emitting values for a life long unless and until you run the application okay so it is always better to destroy this observable it will reduce your heap memory it will make your application faster <clears throat> so the code i have given you over here okay now probably they have okay adding url parameter into the http client so so far whatever we have seen that we do not have any pagination concept over here now they are introducing this pagination concept and passing parameters with the headers okay and this is i think uh information you have this is a previous first next these functions are there <clears throat> okay all those functions are calling the same okay but with certain parameters There are four buttons over there. Yeah, I have done. So do you have any question? Hello, everyone. I'm good. No, I'm fine with this. Okay, so basically, this is an example of a REST API call. Okay, with uh, fake server, or you can say mock data, and we have used our third-party library over here to make it uh, look professional. Okay, and rest of the things, I mean, in whatever documents I have prepared, uh, I have covered this thing. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> so this is our <clears throat> last day training. Okay, so after this, I think. <clears throat> you will get three days on 22nd we will have metal test i already informed you okay so on 22nd i will share your names with uh, lnd team as per your cl level so they will send a link for a metal test and you need to go over there and then pass the i mean attend that test okay if you able to pass that metal test then you will get a certificate that you are right now certified with angular and we'll get the opportunity in the project to work with angular okay, okay. okay subrata can we have that metal link so that we can install that metal browser no it is not uh, i think lnd will share you that link so uh, is that the 22nd is the last day of the exam or only one day only one day will be the exam date 22nd because so actually uh, i've got a new laptop so in my system the msp is not installed so Th that i don't know okay so in 22nd uh 22nd i think our metal platform will remain open for the whole day okay and 23rd it will be closed and uh, people who will be able to complete that test i mean they will get the opportunity in the project so what will be the duration of the test i think it will be maybe one and a half hour test maximum and uh, the content uh, is going to be from the from the content course that, will be uh, content will be javascript content will be angular 
So whatever you have taught until now, right? Whatever I have taught, there may be things here from here and there outside. So you have to prepare, right? So we are so we have started training almost uh, two weeks back, right? So yes. If, if I consider two weeks, this is fifteen days. So I mean, I can expect that considering your skill level. you will be maybe googling certain things getting more knowledge doing something extra because this document i have prepared i have shared with you probably on second or third day okay so um, people will be it is very easy i mean everything is there you need to just copy paste and run it in your system you will be able to see those things but apart from that there are uh, there may be few questions okay uh, because angular is uh, i mean not so small and not so big but you have to prepare well okay okay so angular.io is the best service uh, best uh, website to get information about angular feature and other things from theoretical point of view okay uh, but from hands on side more you work more you spend time with certain technology you will get expertise on that particular skill set so i think 22nd is too early can we extend the date to, to the next weekend that is on monday mm, no i have i have, I have informed it right yeah. i have informed it uh, subhato uh, actually it's also a request from my side as well because uh, mm. i did not uh, able to do the last uh, task as well because uh, some certain accident happened with me so it's uh, definitely a, request from my side as well please extend the date is little bit no 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 so i think i think i will be not there okay i will be not there uh, probably uh, so i informed you prior training that uh, actually we want one or uh, two uh, two days for, uh, for because at initial stages i saw a lot of people you just came into this training only to listen and sit for one hour okay you never started certain proactiveness to practice it in your hand and now you are telling me that you need to i need to extend that date i think uh, it will be difficult people who have done that they will appear okay so anyone has any question apart from this thing because whatever i today discuss that is fine anyone has any extra question in mind that you want to discuss probably explore not able to understand anything uh, i have a question subhat here so mm -hmm. the question is we can share data by using the ng model that is okay and i will practice uh, on that but what is the main difference by using the event emitter rather than that uh, ng model so ng model i have told you that when i explain this ng yes, model yes 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 we have two practical cases so practical cases means when we have a login or registration forms okay less complex forms that time we use ng model or in another scenario will be you have couple of text boxes or drop downs at the top maybe working as a filter and you need to filter out certain data yep so in those cases we use ng model because it will help to write us to write less code but in rest of the things i think whatever we will use we will use uh, i mean input output uh, and this event emitter and subscriptions that means it's basically based on the design and the architecture how how the people is going to architect their, that application more But, or less you have to design application c relationship between two components will be two types right one is a parental relationship that means one component will be inside another component then it will be treated as a child component and then we will have a sibling component yeah there will be no relationship apart from that i think we do not have any relationship in angular So based on the UI, you have to decide whether we I will take a parental relationship or I will take it as a sibling component. Okay. 
Uh, hello, Subrata. Uh, in the Angular applications uh, for the database connectivity and all all those things we done in the model or we have a separate component or how it is? No, Angular is not doing any kind of database connection. Hmm. Angular will send a request to your PHP file or Java file or .NET file, Python file. Okay. That Python file has a database connection string. Mm -hmm. It will you will execute your queries over there, run queries. You will receive a data. You will encode that data into a JSON format and returns the response. And Angular will automatically receive that response. Okay. And uh, for the testing that we use uh, spec.ts file. So in our applications also the test cases and all uh, we uh, write. Right we... now, right now, do not focus on those things because you people are very new to the Angular, okay? Okay. So and testing or writing in a test cases is a complete different concept. Mm -hmm. If I want to push this concept uh, right now, you won't be able to grasp that thing. So it will be always better to spend with Angular maybe at least for six months then try to understand this uh, in a test case. Hmm. Oh. Hello, sir, brother. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So as, as you told that uh, in Angular, uh, we don't have any connection, database connection, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, like I read somewhere, like uh, we can use Firebase as a database with, connect with the Angular app. Yeah, I I mean Firebase is a Firebase is a <clears throat> offline database. The same thing I have done with this uh, JSON fake server, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you will able to see an UI over there. You will be able to see your data. You can create your own data, and mm -hmm. you URL like we have URL like localhost colon three thousand slash products. Mm -hmm. Uh, in Firebase, you will get a certain port, and from that port, you will be able to access the data. So Firebase is, a, I mean, it's a free up to a certain level, and URL and everything they will provide. So URL will be same. Okay. Rather than connecting with this mock database, you can also use <coughs> Firebase database. So what is the uh, better things? Like uh, we use, we have to use. This is this is just for your practice purposes, man. In real life scenario. Mm -hmm. You can get Firebase, but that is very less chances. Mm -hmm. People who are coming from .NET, PHP, Python, and Java background, they have their respective databases. Okay, yes, so sir. those respective databases will have a connection string into that respective technology, and you need to just <clears throat> set up your environment URL into your Angular mm -hmm. and set the path and give that API call. The rest of the thing will be taken care by the REST API that you develop with the respective technologies. Okay. 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 So more of things you have to understand that whenever we have any application, whenever we have any application, more in today's uh, modern web development, we have 60, 65 percent business logic in the front end. When we talk about REST API, we do not create any REST API for any logical thing i mean rest api we have created only to get a quick data that is the purpose of rest api so that data we need to prepare inside angular okay so there will be more complexity more skill sets you require with angular when you start working with as a front end or maybe full stack profile you create an array we create an object there will be no logic in the back end literally okay you prepare everything and send the data they will consume an array or object or parameter whatever it is and they will there will be a simple query and then they will execute the logic and return you certain response that will be the purpose of rest api so people right now who are working with purely backend project like dotnet java Python, they have written big, big queries, big, big logics into a function, right? In your practical life, with when you work with Angular, Angular will take care of all those business big logics. You just need to put your data and send it to the database.
okay any question anyone i think you need to spend little bit more with amulet.io you will get more information okay and i'm expecting that when you start working or maybe uh, go into google try to find out things you will have a lot of questions okay but angular.io is an website that is a uh, i mean main website for angular development and learning angular so you will get all information over there if you don't understand certain topics you can copy those topics and paste it in google with example probably google will give you an example and you will get more clarification and understanding over there okay so i have done from my side if you do not have any question then i can close this call asubhuto uh, i am having but i think that one is uh, um, bit we are uh, i am uh, from i mean whatever the documentation you have given i am uh, talking upper level of that so uh, how can i submit a contact form uh, and uh, how do i uh, set the route can you please uh, tell me a little bit it is there in my document it is there in my document in one day i think one lady asked me about example of validation of registration form or contact of form whatever it is okay so i shared those information with them okay so you can just google it now if you right now if you are comfortable with angular okay first try to get comfortable with angular okay then google it uh we'll get an example contact form example with angular registration form example with angular you will get an example over there and if you gone through my documents i think there is no major challenge should be there if you understand those things if you don't understand my document then probably that's a different thing right Okay, I think then I miss it. So let me read it one more time. Yeah. So people who are here actually they have probably those links. Okay. So you can connect with any one of them or any team member from your PHP side and get those yeah. information. Or you can easily Google it. Okay. If you face still face any kind of problem, you can ping me. I will share that somewhere. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So, anyone has any question, or I can close this call. I am fine with these documents and all the stuffs. Okay. 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 I am good. Thank you. Thank you all. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.